I'm Michael Leiko and I use mushrooms to make music. Pretty weird sounds for sure. I had a studio filled with mushrooms and then the other half of the studio was synthesizers. I figured like, hey, that would be a cool video. When I started growing mushrooms, I had no idea I would end up making music with them. I'm mostly a stay at home dad, but I also work connecting mushrooms to synthesizers. Wow, look what we got here. One of the things that I love about mushrooms is just how quickly they grow. Um, so even just like walking in the woods, you won't see them and then all of a sudden they'll pop up and they'll be everywhere. It's super slimy from all the rain. So I don't know for sure, but the color on top and the gills and the fact that we're in like a mulch bed is all leading me to believe that these are probably wine caps. Not certain enough about this idea that I would eat them. Because generally when things get this gross, you don't want to eat them even if they are edible. Either way, we can hook these up to the synthesizer and see, see what sort of sounds we can get. I take uh, mushrooms and I make music with them. Basically, the mushroom is controlling the synthesizer. Just very exciting growing these mushrooms. A lot of the time, unexpected things can sort of start to happen, letting serendipity play its role. I started growing mushrooms in the studio, and I had a studio filled with mushrooms, and then the other half of the studio was synthesizers. It's aware of this module that allows you to connect plants, fungi, to the synthesizer, and I figured, like, hey, that would be a cool video. I had a video with pink oyster mushrooms on YouTube, and it went viral. It got a million views. And December and I made like $5,000 from it in about two weeks. And that's when I sort of started to shift my focus, realizing that I could potentially be able to make money just video and mushrooms connected to synthesizers. Yeah, and that sounded pretty cool. The electrical resistance of all living things fluctuates slightly. Um, in humans, it can be used to tell if we're nervous or not, if we're lying or not, uh, you know, with a lie detector test. Plants and fungi have these changing resistance levels. I'm able to use those with a specific module made for it to translate that into control signals for the synthesizer. A lot of people sometimes think that it's the mushroom, that we're hearing the sounds of the mushrooms. Um, and it's, it's closer to as if the mushroom sat down at a very weird instrument and started banging on the keys than actually hearing the mushroom sounds itself. There's unseen things all around us. So when you take a deeper look at things, you start to see this cooperation and this community. So yeah, we're just gonna have you read this here. We are recording. Mushrooms, the constellations of the mycelia. Connection, hyphal knots begin to form. Awaken. Cool. Where did you get constellations? I put it in there. <laughs> Yay! If you want to hit the space bar and hit play, this track down here is the audio stuff that I took in and I put it in the synthesizer and kind of scrambled it and we put it back in here. Cool. That's sweet. What did you hook him up to? Which ones? Oh, the mushrooms? Yeah, the pink mushrooms. Awesome. Good job. <laughs> yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> you want a high five? Some people have gotten very upset by it. Um, some people have thought that it was fake because they were unwilling to believe that mushrooms could have these signals that we can't see or perceive that could then be used to make music. But you know, it's the internet, so people get upset over everything. And right about now, you can hear the mushrooms coming in and I'll, I can play that part by itself. So in this part, this is the part that the mushrooms are doing. And it's kind of that part, that mushroom part is about kind of creating this uh, this tension, you know, because music is all about creating a, a tension and then having some release. And it doesn't sound very good by itself, but you add everything else in and you got some vibes. There's something about hooking a mushroom up to a synthesizer than eating it afterwards that I really enjoy. Some people might think that that's weird or cruel, but um, they're just the fruiting bodies. It's like an apple. It's no big deal. Don't grow back. So yeah, recently I just did a little bit of sound design for uh, Stella McCartney. She did a show that was mushroom themed and that was really cool. They did it in a mushroom farm and they used some of my mushroom sounds uh, when people were first coming into the space. So all in all, like, am I making a ton of money doing this? Absolutely not. But connecting mushrooms to synthesizers and going hiking in the woods, foraging for mushrooms with friends. I mean, that's a dream. Doing whatever the heck I want is, is awesome.